Hello everyone, my name is Chaotic and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showcasing the brand new muscle car known as the Vapid Chino from the Ill-Gotten Gains update part 2. Now straight away to be truthful, I'm not really a big fan of this car, nor do I think it's very attractive either, but then again to be truthful, I'm not really a big fan of any muscle cars in GTA 5, but I'm sure there are some people out there that do like this car, so I won't say much more about it. But as for its price, you can purchase this from the Legendary Motorsport website for a price of $225,000, officially making this the most expensive muscle car in GTA 5. The question now is, is it really worth that money? Well, as standard, like I said, it's not very impressive. I can't say it's very attractive either, but there are some really cool customizations available for this when we go ahead and modify it. So starting off in the bumpers category, as you can see there is the option of fitting a custom chin spoiler, which basically makes this car look lower down to the ground and bulkier. You've also got the option of fitting a wheelie bar at the back, but in my opinion I think it ruins the styling of the car, not that it has much styling anyway, but I didn't fit one. You've also got the option of fitting a plaque in the back window of the car. The choice is between the Los Santos plaque or the Los Santos Customs plaque, which is the one that I chose. You can also fit dual exit exhaust on the vehicle if you want to do so, but I didn't, I just stuck with the stock exhausts. Under fenders, there's the option of fitting curb feelers or fender skirts. I went with the curb feelers for the simple fact that the fender skirts don't exactly improve the styling of this. In the hoods category, you've got the option of fitting a bug catcher, with the choice being between single or triple intake. I fitted a single intake. Moving on to respraying this car, now when going through the colours, I couldn't find a colour which I particularly liked, so I went with Midnight Purple, which at the moment doesn't look too impressive, but give it a few minutes and once I finish customising this car, it will look a lot better. Anyway, moving on to roof, you have the option of completely removing the roof to make this a topless car, or you can fit a custom roof, which is basically a vinyl roof. But as you guys can see, I chose the option of removing the roof, and when doing so, you have to admit, this car now looks a lot like the Albany Manana. I also chose the option to lower the suspension to try and make this car look more like a low rider as opposed to a muscle car. And for that one reason, I also chose low rider wheels, and I selected the flare option under this category, and then I set the wheel colour to midnight purple to of course match the paint colour on the car. And I also decided to fit some custom tyres, which gives the tyres a white wall. But finally, although you cannot really see them, I also fitted some limo window tints to finish things off. Well, there you go guys, that is the Vapicino when customised. Admittedly, it now looks a lot more like a low rider as opposed to a muscle car, but I still think it looks better than its standard version. But if I was to give my overall opinion on this car, I would have to say it's too expensive and it's simply not worth purchasing. Well, there we go, guys. That is the Vapicino. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys could take a few seconds out if you did to click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also, be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know your thoughts about this car. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I'd recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So, once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.